Welcome to Farming Simulator 22. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up potato bagging all automatic with the seed potato sorting shed. You need to go to production and I have a lot of mods in here. Where, there it is. The potato storage and sorting shed. And we're going to be plopping this down. Open up the doors. There's the potato sorter. Let's run over here. And we're going to pick up a forklift. Don't matter which one you use. I find this the easiest one to pick up these potato pallets. And the potato pallets. You find an object, pallets, and you scroll over to the Pioneer Potato Pallet for a thousand dollars, and it's five thousand liters of potatoes. You will need two of those. Let's run these over and drop these off. I'll be back when I have both of these over here. Okay, welcome back. Now we have our two pallets of potatoes here, 10,000 liters. And you will need about 10,000 liters to start this whole process. Next, we're gonna be using this the lizard fillable pellet one of the important things we'll pick this up bring this in Try to line it up. Okay, no. Drop this in about here. Wish I could just pick that up, but that's okay. As long as it's in there, this should work. Not, I may have to readjust that box. Park our forklift. That should work. And next we're going to need is the belt. Oh, there we are. We'll grab our tractor. We'll pick this up. 
which is found in tools, belt systems, and the Grimmy SL8022 Quantum for 38000 We're going to drag this over here. Don't need a tractor because you could drive the belt. But it's a lot faster. To get the process started. Hop out. And we'll hop into the belt. start the engine and you're gonna start lining up with that box that you dropped in and you need to lift the belt up press R1 and move the belt out but you want your belt a little close but not too close to the shed. I will check this out. See kind of how we're lined up here. There's the box. There's the belt. I need to bring the belt back in just a little smidge. That should do it. Let's see. There's the box. There's the belt. That should work. Okay, next thing we're going to need. Is the silo. The farm silo, which holds 5 million liters, I may have to move myself here, hold on, here we go. do this again and you want to put it about here but it overlaps with the object so what you need to do is toggle free mode to turn on with your triangle place it down Like so. You know what? I shouldn't have placed my forklift in here yet. So I'll be back in a moment when I get the forklift outside. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about that. I forgot about these pallets of potatoes that you need out here. So your next step, we need to get these potatoes put into our silo. You bring these potatoes over here at this end. 
Not too close to the belt though. And we're gonna drop these in. Almost 10,000 liters of potatoes. Now we need to get the forklift back inside. Park it here. Next step. Is get the potatoes into the sorter. We'll hop in here. L3 to start filling. And of course need our potatoes keep an eye on potatoes coming out the other end and if they don't you will need to adjust the the belt in or out until they start flowing then hit start fill again then we hop on out as you can see they're going in we'll come here we'll turn on our potato storage and shorting shed y'all may be wondering why there's a hundred and fifty thousand liters in there and the reason being for that because of this bin here if you don't want to buy pallets and you just want to use your own potatoes from your field that you harvest put them into one of these fill it up with potatoes or you can even buy them from the multi fruit buying station silo here and then drop them off in that silo if you wanted to do it that way but I found it's cheaper for two thousand dollars to get this whole process started go back in here as you can see the sorting is still going on And sometimes you may have to come back in here and refill the 
potatoes, which are none in there. But 10,000 liters should be enough. Because what we'll need is one pallet of premium and one pallet of seed potatoes before we move on to the next step. And I'll be back in a moment once all that takes place. Okay, welcome back. We have one pallet of our premium and while we're waiting for our seeds to show up here's an important step you need to take go back into here to silos you need one more of these silos and See if I can get this position right. I may have to come this way with it because of the collisions. But you're going to want it about there. As long as it's on the inside, the pickup point all the way in. not too far in and the end of that grate reaching the side of the door and turn on the toggle free mode place her down see about right there like that and over here and of course it's empty for now well, look, and there's our seed potatoes. Then you're going to take your forklift. And throw them on in. Then, oops, my bad. <laughs> as long as you hover them over top, they'll go in until they disappear. And you won't need this forklift anymore. And turn the lights on in here. Okay. Oh, we've already got another one ready. Okay, now. On to the next step. We have 2,000 liters of seed potatoes and premium potatoes in there. I should say the same thing in this one. If it don't, then this silo is not close enough to the building. Just a note. Now, to set up the other two things you need. Come in here, production. And you will need the potato bagging production. Zoom in close. Turn it to where the pallets are facing you. Bring it in and along this wall, see those beams on the left? One, two, three going to be about right in there. Along 
that third beam and turn on free mode make sure that's on so you can place it then number two bagger go about at this first beam on the left boom there we go and it's important to place these two in here after you fill this silo okay now we'll hop into this one we got premium or C potato bagging you can set turn on any one of these in any order you want in this case I'm going to turn on the seed potato bagging now notice when I do that on the top right under your building storage incoming materials watch what happens to the amount of seed potatoes I'll turn it on it goes to 8,000 liters and there's only 2,000 in the silo and at the bottom you can see it's bagging your seed potatoes now you come over to this one now we're going to turn on the premium and the same thing 8,000 premium potatoes now we're bagging premium potatoes seed potatoes and we'll come over here oh look we still have 2,000 of each in this silo and it should say the same over here in this one yep oh look we got all this here still oh look there's seeds we should be getting the premium soon here yep they're about there but in the meantime go to here over to here open this door up come to here open this door up let's go get not these but we're gonna grab these here there's two ways that you could do this I'm gonna use these for the first way just to show you what you can do Ooh, let's see if I can squeeze through here and I did whoops you don't have to go in this way you can pull in the other way you come here let's, let's turn around And we're going to pull up right about here. It should work. Um, hello? Making a liar out of me. Hello? Okay, let's try the back end. There it is. We'll go to the back. And we're going to park it here. And we'll bring our other one in.
back this one up here. Now that one's there. And you can leave these parked here. Oh look, see we've already got more on there. See the seed potatoes, we're still producing. And we still have 8,000 liters in there. Come over here, we still have our same amount. And our same amount in these silos. Still bagging premium potatoes. And this should keep running and running. Well, look, see? And running and filling. And for the next thing I want to show you, I got to turn these off just so don't mess things up. Come in here, unload, and there's your bags. Oh, I gotta get this one. Bring this one in. Unload your bags. And you can keep going back and forth with this. Whoops, where? Okay, ah, here we are. Lizard bear. Now we'll come and pick up our auto load trailers. Those can be found <laughs> under tools. Sorry about the noise, my daughter's having fun. Under miscellaneous. All the way to the end should be, and there it is. And you can change your wheels to those two types, your main color to these. Are you like? And we're going to take this, whoa, hello. <laughs> and we're going to bring these in. The reason why you want to use this and not those qua other quads Because it kind of conflicts with each other. Because they're both auto loads. And open up the rear doors. You're going to back up. Well, if I can get it back straight. <laughs> You're going to back this up to there. Let's 
grab this other one. We'll get this set up. I just thought it was kind of interesting to pull these trailers with these little bitty quads, but they are fast. Pull into here. Open the doors. Get it backed up. I don't know if it matters if you leave these running, but I do. And come here. And this was premium. Turn on the premium. It's making premium potato bags. Okay, I'm going to have to go into here uh, and turn on seeds. And it's bagging up seeds. And now it should auto load these trailers, and each one can hold 20,000 versus these ones here, which can only hold about 4,000 each. You can load up these trailers automatically and then haul them off to market. You can use these or a truck, however you want to bring them to market. But there you have it, everything is automated let's make sure oh I can't see in there let's hop on here oh we have a thousand see potatoes in the back end of this already oh it looks like there's a thousand 400 in there. Oh, now we got 2,000 liters of seed potatoes in there. And this just keeps on going. Now we'll come over here. I still got 2,000 here. And 2,000 there. And this just keeps on going and going and you never have to buy potatoes again or harvest any. That's why I use those potato pallets to fill it because it only costs $2,000 to get started on your potatoes sorting and it's all automated. I've tried many ways to do this, but the only way I found that works is having this silo right here with 2,000 of each type in it. And one other thing, let me see if this actually works. I've got waste potatoes set on distribute uh, 
and it's not distributing to here. Let's oh, we haven't made enough. Oh, no, I have. Oh, look, there we are. And waste potato. It's supposed to be producing electricity. Digest eight. And I forgot what that middle symbol was now. But there you have it. The automated potato bagging system. Five thousand seeds, four thousand two hundred liters of premium potatoes, and they just keep going and going and going. But there you have it. I hope you found this video fun informative in any way please share like describe oh yeah subscribe <laughs> you can describe it if you want <laughs> lol please leave any comments down below stay tuned for my other videos on hacking tweaking different mods I love playing around with these. I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy. Farmer Nighthawk, signing out.